Okay, so now I want to look at what happens when we revolve the region about lines that we would think of as being parallel to the rectangle. So here we're going to look at x equals negative 7 first. So x equals negative 7 is over here. We're going to revolve the region around that line and we're going to specifically look at what happens to the single rectangle as we revolve that around the line. So to do that, I want to look at it again, a 3D diagram. And so this is what's called the shell method. And so we're revolving a region not completely unlike the purple regions on those left two diagrams. We're revolving it around a vertical line to the left of the region. And what we're going to do is end up with a solid like the two on the far right. In order to find the volume of the region, we're going to focus on a single rectangle like the green one in the diagrams, and we're going to calculate the volume of the shell that's formed. So the two second diagrams there are showing the back half of what we would call a cylindrical shell. We'll use a Riemann sum or actually an integral in order to add up an infinite number of those shells within the region, and that would get us the volume of the solid exactly. Okay, so we want to focus more specifically on what happens to that green rectangle. So in this diagram, it's a little bit easier to see. You see on the left the shell that's formed. Remember that it's infinitely thin in theory, and so the thickness we'll describe as dx. The radius of rotation is on that left diagram clear that it's the distance from the rectangle to the line we're revolving around. The height of the shell is the height of the rectangle. The best way to find the volume of that shape would be to unravel it. So to like cut it and unravel it like they're doing in the right hand diagram. Then it's instead of a cylindrical shell, we can look at it as a rectangular prism like a box. And the way we would find the volume is length times width times height. The length is 2 pi r because it's the circumference of the circle. The height is the height of the rectangle. The thickness or the base is the thickness dx. And so the volume here is 2 pi rh times how thick it is dx. That would be for one rectangle. What we want to do is add them up for all of the rectangles, and so we'll use a Riemann sum, which turns into an integral, in order to do that. The shell method is given by that formula, 2 pi r h. So let's go back to this problem. And again, you should have a PDF of the, the pictures that you were just seeing on the screen. It might be helpful to refer to those when we're doing these problems. So here, we're revolving the rectangle around the line x equals negative 7. It would go back behind the screen and ro rotate around and come back out and form that cylindrical shell. So the volume here is 2 pi integral r h. The real problem ends up being coming up with what r and h are. r is a function of x because we're using dx. R of x then is the distance between the rectangle and the line we're revolving around. That's the distance, we'll do it in red real quick, that's the distance from the line here to the rectangle. Because we think of it as being parallel, there's only one such distance. That's a horizontal distance. We take the x on the right minus the x on the left. The x on the right is x, the le x on the left is negative 7 and so we get an r of x plus 7. h is the height of the rectangle, so that's the distance from the top of the rectangle to the bottom of the rectangle. That's the top y, 2x plus 15, minus the bottom y, x squared plus 7. That gets us negative x squared plus 2x plus 8. And now we plug that into the volume formula. We do 2 pi times the integral r, which is x plus 7, times h, negative x squared plus 2x plus 8, times the thickness dx. And now we want to add this up for all of the rectangles in the region. 
So we're going to add this up from negative 2 to positive 4. You should pause the video now and try this for x equals 8. There's a slight change in the next problem, but not a whole lot. So take a minute to try the problem on your own and check it with me in just a couple minutes. Okay, so this time we're looking at revolving around x equals 8. That's a vertical line to the right of the region, so we're over here. Again, we're going to use the shell method. So we've got volume is 2 pi, integral r h. r is the distance from the line we're revolving around to the rectangle. That's a horizontal distance. So you take the x on the right minus the x on the left. So we get 8 minus x. The height is the height of the rectangle. That's a vertical distance in this case. That's the top y minus the bottom y. The top y is 2x plus 15. The bottom y is x squared plus 7. That then simplifies to negative x squared plus 2x plus 8. We plug that into the integral for the shell method. That gets us 2 pi times the integral from negative 2 to 4 of 8 minus x times negative x squared plus 2x plus 8 times dx. A couple of important things to notice. One is that we're going to use this method if the rectangle informally, if the rectangle is parallel to the line. So if we think of a dx rectangle as being vertical, we're going to use this with vertical lines that we're revolving around. If we think of dy rectangles being horizontal, we're going to use those, the shell method on those with horizontal lines. The radius function is the distance from the line to the rectangle. That's going to involve either x or y. The order of the subtraction depends on whether it's right minus left or top minus bottom, and depends on where things are on the diagram. The h is the height of the rectangle, which in this case is the top y minus the bottom y. For a horizontal rectangle, that would be the right x minus the left x.